Hey guys, I'm back again with an exciting update for Motion Suite. I know it's been a while, but let's dive right in. In this update, I've fixed a lot of issues and added some awesome new tools and effects. Fusion Hotkey Manager Shortcut Now you can launch the Fusion Hotkey Manager with a shortcut. This allows you to assign key combinations to open scripts, add tools to the flow, and more. For example, if you want to launch the Motion Suite script with a shortcut, search for the script, select it, and assign your key combination. Hit OK, and now, whenever you press that shortcut, it launches automatically. I use dual monitors, so it opens on the first screen for me. You can also add tools in the same way. Super handy. Rename tool. We've all been there, importing multiple media files, and when you place them in the flow, none of the nodes are named. Now, just import your media, select the media in nodes, and click the rename button. Instantly, the nodes will be renamed to match the file names. Quick and clean. Time indicator. I considered removing this, but a user reminded me how useful it is, so it's staying. By default, it shows the frame number, but click it once and it switches to time in seconds. Choose what works best for you. Stair 3D. Think of this as an advanced version of Stair. Add some 3D objects to your scene. Now, say you want other elements to follow a sphere. Just select the sphere, hold Ctrl, select the other nodes, and hit the Stair 3D button. Move the sphere, and the rest will follow. It's that simple. Line Motion. This tool is great for showing directional movement or connections. It's highly customizable, perfect for data visualization or stylized motion projects. If you want more 2D tools like this, let me know. Calendar Preset This might be the best calendar preset you'll ever use in DaVinci Resolve. Fully customizable and powered by expressions, it handles leap years automatically. You can also highlight specific dates. If you'd like a detailed tutorial, just ask. Camera Shake Plugin. One of the best camera shake effects I've made so far. Even with a still image, it adds amazing dynamic motion. Great for enhancing energy in any shot. Hair Tool, Beta. This one's still in progress but it's usable. Connect your media to the hair node, then draw a shape around the hair area to apply the effect. You can adjust everything in the inspector panel. Water effect tool. Want water at the bottom of your scene? This tool does it. It has some limitations. You may need to use a mask for perfect results. For example, I used a mate control node to exclude a boat from being affected, making the water stay in the background only. Void light effect. One of my personal favorites. Connect your media, move the light point to where you want the glow, and tweak the settings in the inspector. Perfect for dreamy or dramatic lighting. Ember. This is a particle emitter based tool. It's a bit heavy on the system, but if you grab the GPU accelerated version from my website, it'll run in real time. Worth it. Funky Smoke adds a cool smoke trail effect. Just connect it to an object and tweak the steps, amplitude, and speed to your liking. Really cool for motion graphics or titles.
drain effect. This one's awesome. I used a black hole image to demonstrate, connect your media, increase the scale, and it starts pulling everything towards the center point. You can also move the center and the pull will follow it. Really cool vortex style effect. Smoke tool, a quick and clean way to generate smoke effects. Tweak the settings in the inspector to match your scene's style. font tab fix. We fixed the font loading bug. Previously, you couldn't interact with anything while fonts were loading. Now it works perfectly. You can search and switch fonts instantly.